This is a video tutorial on underpainting your ceramic open form kitsch project. I have a piece that has been bisque. You know it's been bisque because it sounds like that and it's kind of this orange color. What underpainting is about is taking your object and adding some depth in the color that you apply. So if you look at this elephant, this elephant was painted gray. I created this gray, combined some colors together. But on the underneath, I had painted some other colors. I believe it was red. And here you can see I've done some tests on some blue. Testing materials is what we call material studies. So see how this works for you as far as creating depth in the surface you're applying. So I'm going to start off with some yellow. And I'm going to use yellow as a final coat and as an undercoat. So here we go with layer one on the naked clay. So you notice I'm cross-hatching as I paint really, really, really fast. Don't you wish you could fast-forward life like this? And then I'm going to apply it to the red because I wanted to see how bright a yellow I can get by applying it over the red. Now I'm touching it to see how dry it is. And it's dry, so now I can add layer number two. Again, brush strokes going back and forth over the surface. Well, look at that. It's already dry. Nick, how'd you get it so dry so fast? Well, there are fans around the room. If you want your paint to dry quicker, try using a fan. So I've got my fan going. I've got some more yellow that I am going to apply a second layer to uh, the underpainting that was done on the red. And remember, everybody, we're working with a 3D object. You want to paint every surface. It may get picked up. It may get moved around. People may look at the bottom. You never know. So make sure that you complete the object to the best of your ability. So now I'm applying the final layer, a bright blue. I'm putting that over just this one spot. And you'll notice I'm not just going to put one layer on, just like we did with the underpainting. We want to get a good solid coat. We want this to be opaque. We don't want it to be anywhere thin or you can see through. So I'm going to put one more blue surface on here. Brush, 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 brush. Loving the fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Look how yellow that is. It's like a lemon. I don't know what the blue is like. Smurf blue. So that's how you create opaque layers on the surface of your 3D work. Underpainting is something you'll do not only in 3D, but in painting and all sorts of other medias.